The top five things you'll want to know in Evernote. Number one, how to use Evernote search more effectively. Evernote provides a number of powerful search functions. Here are three that will help you increase your efficiency. Number one, search notes for a specific word in the title. To do this, type in title, colon, followed by the word you're searching for, for example, books. This will return all notes that contain the word books in the title. Number two, search within a specific notebook. To do this, type notebook, colon, followed by the name of the notebook, for example, ideas. You can then add what exactly you're searching for afterwards, for example, in title, colon, business. This will return all notes within the notebook ideas that have business in the title. Lastly, search for a specific tag. To do this, type tag, colon, followed by the tag, for example, books. This will return all notes that are tagged with books. Number two, email hacks. When emailing into Evernote, there are three simple hacks you can use to increase your efficiency. Number one, include a reminder date. To do this, type exclamation mark year slash month slash day into the subject line immediately following the subject. Number two, designate a notebook to send your note to. To do this, use the at symbol before typing the name of an existing notebook, for example, ideas. Number three, add an existing tag to your note. To do this, use the hashtag or number symbol followed by an existing tag, for example, B underscore ideas. Once in Evernote, click refresh and your emailed note will appear with an enabled reminder. It'll be in its correct notebook and have its correct tag. Number three, how to create a stack. Step one, when using the Evernote web application, to create a stack, you need to be in the notebook section. To open the section, click on the notebook icon. Step two, a stack is comprised of at least two notebooks. If you don't have a second notebook, create one by clicking on the new notebook icon. You'll need to name the notebook. For example, offline ideas. Now, drag one notebook on top of the other and notice that a green box appears around the notebook to let you know that you're about to create a new stack. Step three, name your stack. For example, business ideas. Now, all of your business ideas, both online and offline, are stacked underneath the master business ideas folder. Number four, how to change your assigned email address. To change the address that is used when emailing into Evernote from a web client, for example, john3986.321 at m.evernote.com, follow these two simple steps. Step one, click on account and then settings. Step two, click on account summary and scroll down until you see the email notes to section. You can click on reset and that's all there is to it. For additional information, you can hover over the question mark and a pop-up will appear explaining why and how to reset your email address. And number five, how to create a to-do list. Step one, open the Evernote web application. Step two, navigate to the left-hand side of the screen and create a new note. Step three, hover over the bulleted list icon and select the to-do list icon from the drop-down menu. Note that a checkbox automatically appears within your note. Step four, title your note, for example, business ideas. Hit enter or return on a Mac and begin to input your tasks, such as create a killer app or impress potential investors. You can check off each item once it's been completed via the checkboxes. When you're finished, select done to save changes. For more tips, subscribe to discoverbusiness.us.